My name is Jeremy Landin, and I'm sitting here with Dr. Gloria Gonzalez and Eva Ibarra. Um, could you spell your first and last name? Yeah, my name is Eva. Uh, middle initial, I have Araiza, it's uh, Ibarra. E-V-A-A-R-A-I-Z-A, Y-B-A-R-R-A. And we are interviewing Ms. Ibarra for the Westside Sound Oral History Project at UTSA. Um, and these videos will be, um, will be saved in the UTSA archives. And I just want to make sure that you uh, consent to us recording this interview and using it for our project. And I do. Archives. I agree. I do. Okay. Um, so first I'm going to start off asking a few questions about your upbringing and um, how you got into, then we'll go into how you got into music and then we will ask some questions about West Side Sound. If at any point in time there's a question you don't want to answer, you don't feel comfortable with, just let me know um, and we can move on to the next question. Sure. If there's anything you want to add in at any point in time, um, you can just go ahead and do that. And if you have any questions, just let me know and we can, um, I, can I can help answer those. Thank um, you. Yes. Yeah, so first off, um, who are you? How did you? What was your? What was your your upbringing like? Are you from from San Antonio? I, I was born here in San Antonio. Yeah, and uh, Circle Eighty One, West Side, and uh, uh, La Lomita. They they used to call it La Lomita, but there was a little Lomita, little hill, a little hill, uh -huh. and uh, Brighton Street. And I used to play when I was uh, six years old. In Medranos, there was a one right in the corner of Novelitos, Novelitos, and Sarzamo. Mm -hmm. There, there is a place, and it's, sti it's still there. And I used to play there when I was six years old with my parents. And then uh, when I grew up, I still play there. Awesome. Do you uh, have siblings? Yes. How many siblings uh, do you have? Nine. Nine. Okay. But two passed away. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, do you want to give us their names? Or? Yeah, uh, we're uh, nine all together, um, six girls and uh, three boys. So I'm the number five. Oh, okay. Uh, and what were your parents' names? My, uh, my father, Pedro uh, Garza Ibarra. My mom, Maria Eloisa Araiza Gonzalez, but married with my dad, Ibarra. So we're, you know, a lot of our, of the interview and the, the conversations that we're having are about music. Tell us about how you first um, got started in music. I think you mentioned just recently about your childhood and being involved in music. Yes, because I like my brother, oldest brother used to play the accordion and, and I like the sound. It was so beautiful, so allegre, you know, happy sound. And I told my dad and my mom, that, buy me an accordion, I want to play it. So they bought me a two-row accordion and I learned when I was four years old, oh. learned the accordion. And you learned how to play it uh, by yourself? Yeah, uh, oh. self-taught, mm -hmm. uh -huh. by listening to the radio. And I remember that uh, I told my mom and she told me that I asked her, Mom, can you turn on the radio? And yeah, she said, and she put me on a little stool, and I was learning from mm -hmm. hearing the radio, listening to the radio, and uh, and watching others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't something you learned in school or anything. No, no. What, um, what schools did you go to? Ashwood Elementary on Couples Road, mm -hmm. and I went. I performed there when I was like around eight years old, seven, nine, and I performed in the, you know, in a in a auditorium mm -hmm. and the, the teacher all the time asked who knows how to play an instrument and I raised up my hand and, and, and who else and, and a you know, little boy was little me too what do you play and he said I play the bajo sexta and then you ever I play the accordion they got us together and we perform Wow. Yeah. So not something you learned in school, but then you ended up performing at school. Yes, and uh, and every once they all the time I raised up my hands when when uh, they they ask who knows who wants to uh, you know perform here in a auditorium me me and I dance puppets mm -hmm. I was dancing puppets like that and that yeah. Um, was it something you saw other? I mean, you were you were a young girl at that time. Was it something you saw other young girls picking up in a group? No, there was no 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 nobody. I didn't see nobody. Were there, Just uh, my brother and 
my parent, my dad plays the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I remember that uh, they, I, I, I was still in the cradle, sleeping in the cradle, and, and I heard music in the living room. And it was my dad and my brother and friends. And I woke up and opened the door, and, and my dad said, go, go back to, to sleep. But no, I said, well, I went, I came back. But uh, there was a, in the, back then, uh, not the knobs, the doorknob, there was a, a little hole, mm -hmm. the old houses. And I was watching still there. I love music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you heard music then. Um, was that you listening to that music? Is that what made you want to listen to the accordion? Do you remember, do you have like a first memory of when you heard, heard the accordion? Yeah, well, the, the, I heard my brother playing and I like it. And I said, I told my parents I want an accordion. And they put me a two-year-old accordion. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I learned. Yeah. Nobody yeah. teach me how to play. So even later on in life, you didn't, you didn't say, oh, let me go take a class or two? No, and no, I went to the, my, ma my mom told me that she didn't want me to play the, the accordion because I think, she's, this is what she told me, you're going to hurt your lungs. But I think she thought it was an immense instrument. Mm -hmm. And I didn't say, I don't know, but, uh, but I, I, I she said, I'm going to take you for piano lessons, and I want you to, to learn the, the way the music is supposed to be played. So she took me when I was like 10 mm -hmm. to learn music, to read music, and to play. And she bought me a piano, mm -hmm. but she didn't want me to play. She took me off the accordion. Oh, wow. And I was recording, and uh, they called uh, Rosina Records, because this man saw, saw you know, my, my, my brothers and me playing in a dance hall. And I was playing the accordion, and he said, I want to record her. And it, it, he gave us two years recording. One year, she said, he said, only one year. And then he said, ever selling? Another year. So um, there are some records that I play. I just played two songs in the accordion because my mom took me away from the accordion. And you're just going to sing with your brothers. Yeah. My brother David, he passed away last year and he played the, the bass mm -hmm. and my brother Pedro, the, the bajo sexto. Mm -hmm. Let your brother play the accordion and your brother David play the bass and you're gonna sing only. And I was forgetting, you know, uh, very rusty in the accordion because like three, four years. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you mentioned the record... Um, Rosina. Rosina. Uh, where For was that at? San Marcos. San, in San Marcos, Texas? Yes, or? San Marcos, Texas, oh, San okay. Marcos. And Mr. Ruiz, uh, Robin Ruiz, okay. he, he passed away, but he was a good man. And now took over the Ria, Ria mm -hmm. his daughter. And online, he's, she's going to put, uh, I think it's out already, all the songs that I recorded with Rosina Records. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. um, back then, you know, you're mentioning that you're, you know, he heard you. It was him that when, when he heard you, and he said, "I want to put her on a record." Um, was that something you foresaw that when you decided, "I'm going to play play the accordion"? Um, did you think you'd make it onto records without playing the what, the accordion? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when you were younger, oh, I'm going to play, and then one day I'm going to end up, you know, on on vinyl records. Uh, say it again. Is that is that something you like? Is that something you had hoped would happen one day? Was that you'd end up on a record? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I love music. I'm a music lover. You know how many records you? you well, I have a lot of them. I have 45s. A lot of them. I recorded for Hacienda Records only. I mean, also and uh, uh, Reloj, Omega, and um, Dina Records. And uh, but I had a hard time to record. Rounder Records is the the international. They gave me the what I am now. Rounder records from uh, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I can pronounce that, but uh, yeah. you can pronounce anything. Uh, Boston. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, I recorded for them for so two music years too. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. They played uh, Germany. They played Canada, uh, Buda, Australia, everywhere. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I forgot to mention, and I'll just throw this in there. We're we're sitting at UTSA. Um, here at UTSA downtown campus. So I just want to add in that that's where we're recording this. And you just got through talking to students about about your music and, and your time. And so um, I want to mention that. And then also just ask that, you know, you're showing, you know, all these people throughout your life, 
your skills as a musician. Have you ever had another woman or, or young girl come up to you and say, I learned the accordion because of you, I heard you? Yeah, there's, they dream. They, they sometimes say that I dream that I would play like, like Eva Ibarra, La Reina del Acordeón, the Queen of the Accordion. Mm -hmm. They dream to play like me. But uh, I think they will. They will. They have to practice a lot. But because I practice a lot, and I want to say thanks to my mom, this in heaven, and uh, and my dad, and uh, my mom, and uh, sent me to for piano lessons, and that helped me a lot in the in the accordion. You know, music theory and everything, and chords and everything. I learned the accordion, and the piano, and I passed it on to the accordion. But uh, my mom was a singer, songwriter. And I record some songs from her. And uh, my dad played the guitar and a singer. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, and uh, on my mom's side, they play saxophone and bass. And on my dad's side, violin, guitar. Mm -hmm. So I came from a musical family. Yeah. All my sisters, they, I recorded their songs, gospel songs. And um, they, they, they love music. They, mm -hmm. They're, they sing and and compose, write, and my uh, two sisters used to sing together, Lily and Gloria, but Gloria passed away. Mm -hmm. She was, they were, my, uh, the oldest uh, sister, she's still alive, and I record some songs for her, Lily Ibarra Gonzalez, mm -hmm. and Gloria Ibarra Villarreal, mm -hmm. but uh, she passed away, but they were good singers too. So a long, long line of, of musicians. Yes, yes, wow. yes. Um, so we're, of course, also here to talk to you about West Side Sound. Um, so I want to start just asking by asking, what is West Side Sound to you? West Side Sound, it's, um, I love that part of town because I was born there. Every time I pass by, you know, um, I, my heart feels something. Because every my sisters, my brothers, they were born in. I was right in street, and they were born in Fish. It's pretty close, mm -hmm. so a little. It was a little rough there. Was I still a little rough? You know, gangs and fighting, and but uh, I still love it. I love my Circle Eighty One, La Lomita, the Circle Eighty One. I love it. Um, part of. Uh, the conversations we've had with so many musicians, this genre of West Side Sound, where that, that and, and Gloria, if you want to jump in to kind of help me <laughs> explain that, um, were conversations about this mixture of having the accordion, which you play so wonderfully, um, mixed in with, with different types of music um, that were influencing each other. Uh, was there was there a time when you realized there was that 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 music was changing on the west side or here in San Antonio that it wasn't just that that the rancheros and and boleros it was it was guapangos to guapangos but also the like the the rock and roll the rock and yeah who were the using accordion and, and rock and roll and, and that's that's what I love I I play sometimes rock, rock and roll I play a little bit jazz. Mm -hmm because I love that sound. Mm -hmm. It changes a lot because it, we started like traditional mm -hmm. with, uh, there. And uh, West Side, West Side, lo they love music. They love, people love to dance. Mm -hmm. Cumbias, guapangos, not only West Side, uh, South Side. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they love the sound of the accordion mm -hmm. because it's a happy sound. It's, it makes you want to dance. Mm -hmm. Did you ever play music in some of those West Side venues? Yes, like I told you, I played um, uh, Medranos, mm -hmm. that is in, in uh, Nogalitos, and Cerro mm -hmm. And then uh, on the Guadalupe Street in Castroville, Castroville Road, it's the same. Mm -hmm. That it changed the name. Mm -hmm. uh, I played in Ray, Ray's Drive-In, I was little, oh, wow. with my brother Pedro Ibarra and uh, Mr. Flaco Jimenez. But I was little. They were a little bit uh, older than me. And, and then I went uh, to the Castorville Road and played in uh, La Estrellita. I was very young, but, but with the support of my parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that was on Castorville? I don't think, I haven't heard that one. La Estrellita? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was pretty close from, uh, I don't remember, I went very small, but, uh, but it's somewhere there, mm -hmm. and uh, Castorville Road. Did you ever play at, 
like Lermas or La Gloria? Oh, yes, I did. No, no la, la, la Gloria, no La Gloria. Mm -hmm. No, but Lermas, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember this. When I was playing there, there was a man that, uh, I don't know, he was like a psychic. Mm -hmm. And he, he, when I was playing, and uh, he said, this young lady, remember me, he, he was just living. And he said, she's going to be somebody one day. And you know what? Just remember me. My name is Ramon, I forgot the last name. And she's going to be in a Hall of Fame. And have, you made it, you, have you made it to a... All, what, what awards have you received? I received the uh, NEA in 2017. And right this year, I have a Texas State Musician of 2022. Yeah. The, the, yeah, state what, the state artists. The state artists. And, and uh, the, there's uh, George Strait, um, Willie Nelson, Little Joe, and a lot of musicians. And I feel so proud, honored to be there. You just named a bunch of men. There's, there's very few women in there, huh? That's the, uh, yeah. They play the accordion and the in the NEA. I think there's some ladies, but another you know another thing that they did, the art. Uh, and uh, but um, the only female right now is me. Wow. But I hope that one of these days they they get another woman. Mm -hmm. Well, lady. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that 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 we've been talking about and I don't know do you have anything you want to add in or any questions I was uh, when you were playing earlier you know and uh, we were listening to you we saw we heard a little bit of jazz a little bit of blues on that which is part of the West Side sound you know that you incorporate yeah into into uh, your music style uh, how have those influences like jazz and uh, the blues and all that R&B influenced, how do you think they have influenced Conjunto and, and, and your style of playing? Well, um, well, in my style, this, that's what I like. The, 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 uh, how do you say this? Uh, the, the, I li I'm versatile. I like blues, I like jazz, I like rancheras, I like polkas, but I like to add some some jazz chords. And um, that's what makes Eva Ibarra and different, makes me different of others because other, they play like, they are great accordionists, but they play more traditional. And they, they, they ask me, how come I play like that? The people are, they don't like it sometimes, they tell me. And I say, some people like it, it's people that know music. They like, they, they like the traditional, they tell me. But I said, well, this is my style, this is my style. I don't want to copy nobody. I don't want to copy. Mm -hmm. Well, and original, originally, you know, accordions were a German instrument, so That's imagine right. if no one changed the way they did things. Yeah, over there, they came from uh, Germany. The, the accordion came, but we did it another way, you know. We, they play more, well, we used to play back then uh, uh, fast, something like that, German. But then we end up like slow, slowing the bit, and then, and I don't like to play very, very t t like that. I like to play in between. Not in that, in that, no, no. That, 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 just to play. Because polkas are polkas when she has. Boleros are more, and waltzes are more slow. Mm -hmm. So polka is polka, and you have to play it the right bit. And, uh, and it's fast, not too fast, but just uh, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like, that's, that's my style. And some men, some men, they don't, they hate me. They hate me, I mean, not all of them. People, men are good accordionists, that they say, I mean, you can say that they're very, they don't, they don't, they don't, they give me, hey, you're great, and this and that, but the thing is, the others that are not capable that much, but they're good accordionists anyway, they play very good, but they say, they, somebody told me that some musicians accordionists don't like me, 
I don't know why they hate me. They never told me, I said, who, who doesn't like me or hate me? And he passed away, he never told me. But he told me how come. I don't know. I didn't ever know that they hate somebody hate me there. I have a lot of haters. And they ignore me. Is, is that something you feel is unique? for you because you're a woman or is it like within the, the industry that industry and because I'm I'm lady. I'm a lady. And the industry not all the industry, um, you know, I appreciate the NEA, I appreciate the Texas State Musician and uh, but other industry or forgetting Eva Ibarra. I'm still alive. I haven't passed away, not yet. Just forgive me when it is gone. But I'm alive. How come they ignore me? I'm very upset with the in industry here. I mean, some, you know, I have to play here and there, but they ignore me nowadays. As a woman in, in music, okay? Is this something that has been a challenge for you all your career, or is this something new? No, all my career. This is a machismo in a man's world. I'm sorry, but I don't want to say, I, I love men. I, I don't want to say that men are bad. No, no, no. But you know, this is a men's world, machismo. They do more for, for men than for ladies. And in a group of, uh, we're, you know, the, 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 we're, more, but I've, I'm a strong woman when I was young, when I was, I'm still, I'm a, how do you say this, I fight the battle, I'm a guerrillera, you know, I like to challenge, I like, I don't want to be, say, hey, I want to be like him, I want I, I want to be Eva Ibarra, and, I, and I, you know, I, those two things that I don't like, to ignore me and to compare me, said. So, you compare with this, you compare with this, that, that, that. I hate those. Ignore me and compare me. So I want to be me. I don't copy nobody. I just, if they like it, people like it, people don't like it. But uh, you know that the traditional music sells more than like jazz, like that. But this is me. Steve Jordan. It's a great accordionist, but it's, we had the same luck, bad luck. We're the same, almost the same. He was talking about the industry too. And uh, they told him that his, uh, his uh, records or songs didn't sell and they, they're not gonna hire him for this festival no more because he didn't bring people. I think they're, that's why they're thinking about me because I play progressive. But people love it, people will dance. I know, what, I know how to play traditional also, but I ate some stuff. Mm -hmm. but so, the, so they're overlooking, you think they're overlooking the creative process for the money, right? They want you to play. They bring people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't believe in me. They don't try me. One time in this festival that they ignore me, they put me at least, because they always put me at 4 o'clock, like uh, with the beginners, students, where there's no people, 5 o'clock, 5.30. But sometimes, one time, they put me at 7, 7 o'clock. You know, people were asking more. Eva, Eva, this, more, more. And this guy said, no, no. And uh, Eva, I promise you that Eva's going to uh, come next year and play for you all. He didn't even let me, you know, play another one for the people. You know, and um, that's not nice. But, the, you know, that's the difference. Four o'clock or five o'clock, seven o'clock, people are more, more people there. And they're drinking and having, you know, feeling good, and they're gonna like the music, but they haven't tried me. They haven't tried me on a, on a headliner. I, I've been, uh, you know what? And I, I feel so proud that Washington, when they gave me the 2017, um, I was the headliner. Anyway, I was the headliner. I was the headliner there, 
And uh, Texas Folk Life also gave me a headliner. And there was a lot of people that like it. But they haven't tried me here in San Antonio. They don't believe in me. They believe in traditional, they believe in other, they just started a play and because they're here and they say, hey, he sells, he sells uh, uh, records and he, they, they're gonna bring, but he never put me in the headliner. He never tried me, just tried me. He don't believe in me. So again, you think it, it, it's the, the seller, the, the one that makes the money as opposed he to the, the creative, the beauty of, of the creation, yeah. the sound, the artistic. Yeah, they know? think that uh, Eva is not going to bring people, audience. Others going to bring more than Eva. That's what somebody told me. So that's what they told Steve Jordan too. Because he was a creative like me. Mm -hmm. He liked jazz, he loved, mm -hmm. and I liked his music. He's a very talented, he was very talented and a genius. And uh, there are a lot of a great accordionists. I wouldn't say they don't, they're pretty good. Um, I think that kind of brings us back to, to, to West Side Sound. Um, you know, I think a lot of the conversations we've had is that, you know, people were not invited into these, they weren't, they weren't telling Chicanos back then, y'all make music, right? It was like they were, they were making music, there were stories of people making music in their garages and stuff. <laughs> Um, because, and then that sound became so popular here. Um, do you think that that's the music of San Antonio? Yes. The accordion is the music of San Antonio. One, one time, you know, Conjunto were, were down. The Tejano, the keyboards and brass and everything, they were up there. Mm -hmm. But now, as the Conjunto is taking over. But the uh, Tejanos also, they, they, they love Tejano, but they, they put conjunto down. And a conjunto means together, we gotta be together, not fighting. And my conjunto, I had my, my conjunto, and um, these guys, not all of them, I had uh, the first ones were, uh, uh, my, not my brother, not, not my other brother, but uh, and I had another conjunto that I formed, uh, Chicanos from here, and. They, they, they don't want a lady to be being a, a leader. They don't want to, they, they fight with me. So I told them, this is not for fighting. This is, they, we were supposed to be together, not discussing, discussing music. Be together, that's what they call conjunto, conjuntos, juntos together. Mm -hmm. Just being together, don't be, and I feel like uh, I didn't want you to play anymore because I think some guns, you know, pointed at me. My same group, mm -hmm. my same musicians. And, uh, and I had another one, the uh, gringos, two gringos and, uh, and one Chinese or Filipino. They were good, I mean, and they, they were good with me. Mm -hmm. They took orders from me. Everything I made, okay, we do it, we do it the way you want it. And the other ones, they're jealous, jealous guys. Mm -hmm. They just want to be themselves. Mm -hmm. She don't know more than me. She's a lady. She don't know more than me. No. Did you have more questions? Okay. Is there like a, a <sighs> instrument that you think is more, <clears throat> defines the West Side sound? Is there an instrument yeah. when you think about it it defines the West Side Sound. The, the accordion and the bajo sexto. We started with a, with a, like a, a polquitas, and, a, and we started with a, only with accordion, bajo sexto, not drums. And sometimes they we, we brought a, a tololoche. We, we brought a tololoche, a, a bright bass, and then we had the drums. So that makes the whole conjunto. We're four, and we're supposed to be strong to make the conjunto sound good. So because the, the Tejanos, they have a lot of it, seven, eight musicians. So that's uh, the conjunto is conjunto, and we gotta be strong and make it good, sound good. Um, okay. Did, uh, 
you ever also played with some of the groups that were doing the West Side Sound, like uh, uh, Henry Lee and the Laviers, Sonny and the Sunliners, the Royal Jesters, those essos? I only play with the Sunny and the Sunliners. You play with Sunny and the Sunliners? Uh, I went, uh, went to uh, El Paso, Las Cruces, and uh, some other around there, but it was snowing that back then, I mean that time. And and Sonny announced it's snowing outside and people were leaving. <laughs> he shouldn't say that. I mean, be quiet. And yeah, I played with with them, but he only took me one time because people were 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 air I am and they, you know, clapping and they like me too. Like him. But some one of the ladies told me, Sonny ain't gonna bring you back because he's very very jealous and he He's, he want to be himself. I say, you think so? I say, I'm telling you. He never took me again. But people like me too. They like him, very sunny Ozuna. The Sunliners, he's a good man, you know. I think one of the, one of the questions I've, I've been asking folks too is, um, what is that, that, how does that music make you feel? This, this West Side Sound, this music that's very particular to San Antonio, how does it, how, what, what types of feelings does it give you and what types of memories does it, does it bring back to you? It brings me a lot of my memories because I was born there and, and it brings me like bajo sex accordion y bajo sex, the sound of it makes me happy and uh, well, it makes me happy and uh, I remember my, my parents that when they were taking me here and there to play, to play with my, myself. I remember this, that um, they took me here and there, and, you know, groups were, my dad, this is the thing, you know, when I was starting, my dad wanted me to lose, you know, to not be afraid to play music. He'd take me with this group, with another group, Sometimes they didn't let me play. They didn't, my, can you let my daughter play the accordion? And they say, oh no, we have the arrangements, so we cannot let, and I cried. My dad told me, hey, daughter, you, one of these days, don't cry. You're gonna be la reina del accordion, you're gonna be somebody. And I said, they, but they don't like me, they didn't let me play. And I wanted to play. And I went to some, some other places and they let me play. You know, people like it and, and uh, the, the, um, the West Side reminds me, of when I was young, the one, they take me here and there, close by. It remembers me from the fights, the gangs, the gangs that like to fight, that they have uh, knives, we're killing each other. And that's ugly, and that West Side, it's getting better. It's getting better, but not that much. But it's still, it's not a good part of a town, West Side. But I love my hometown, my home neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I love it. I love it. I love it. But this is getting a little bit better. Uh, Where do you see this uh, this fusion? that we have of the jazz and the R&B and all that sound that we have in the music. Do you see it staying in the music in the future and in, in like how you play and how the other, or do you think it's going to change again? I think, this is my thinking, it's going to stay, the, the, the tradition is going to stay more, the traditional music. The Tejano is going to stay too, conjunto, norteño, the norteño de la norteño also. It's different that from conjunto, from the west side, conjunto from, from you know, Texas. We have a different sound from, from norteño. Norteño play more, more simple, but there are some progressive also. More simple and more faster. But uh, some, some conjuntos here play faster. Fast, fast, I mean, the rhythm. 
and some they place lower. So the Norteños, they, they, when they hear like the way I play, how come she's playing a lot of chords and you know, we, they, she's supposed to play, play like just more traditional. How come the conjuntos here give more chords and we only, people like more just simple. That's what they say, the Norteños. But there's a lot of, a lot of uh, progressive Norteños. And, but we have different sounds. Westside, uh, the valley, the valley has another sound. I mean, more slower, uh, the, the, and here is slow too, but more, a little bit more faster. And different sounds of conjunto and tejano. But the west side, it's like that, or, or around here. It's like that, that's our music. And never gonna die, no. That's my thinking, never gonna die. Music is never gonna die. And uh, there's no end for music. We have to keep practicing. I'm, I'm still uh, uh, a learner, uh, you know. I like to uh, practice, to learn. Until the day I'm gone, that's where I'm gonna start practicing. Um, well, you you brought your accordion with you. Did yeah. you want to play a little bit of something? Do you want have more questions from before that, or no. can we? And I want to mention I want to mention my conjunto now is called Eva Ibarra y su conjunto siempre. And uh, uh, Sandy Rodriguez, uh, a young lady. Uh, the vocalist, and we also we all the time mention Eva Ibarra's conjunto, uh, vocalist Sandy Rodriguez, the big girl from Florida, and siempre para ustedes, forever years. What was the name of your conjunto when, way back when, when you first started? Well, I named several names. We started just Eva Ibarra's conjunto. That's all. That I changed it a little bit, Eva Ibarra Sistema. <laughs> I put Sistema. And then I said Eva Ibarra y uh, e Conexión. And, uh, and then uh, Sandy Rodriguez, the vocalist, told me, Eva, just put Eva Ibarra y su conjunto siempre. And that's the way it's going to stay. Siempre para ustedes. Forever years. Okay, let me see it over. This I'm having problems with this. I'm gonna have to take it off. Which the song button. Is that? It's my song. Oh, okay, that's your song. I'm having problems, and I'll do it again. So sometimes it hurts while I'm like because the <laughs> pushing and pulling. Okay. Then I think I can do it. Okay. Can I take that? I can take the most, uh, I, I feel something I can play. I don't know how to take it up. I'll try. After so many years playing, huh? yeah. that's how I have this camera, but I, I hold the cameras in my hand. Yeah. So long, and they're so, so I'm, I'm going to go again. <laughs> Thank you. 
again traditional so my style uh, uh, the the bit that I like How many accordions I play, or? How many do you own? Well, I have a chromatic one, and I have another one. I don't play different accordions. I just play one accordion. I don't want. I don't like to carry a lot of accordion, like others they six or s so. I just play. I have the same key G C F. This this is G C F. So I have another one. 
corner. But it's the same case. How many have you owned throughout your lifetime? Do you know? A lot of them. A lot of them, but uh, I pawned it. I, lo I, I lost by accordion. Somebody took it out. One of my friends, I, to I told him, uh, do you want my accordion? Take it out. I don't have the money to take it out. And he did. He don't want to, you know, there's a owner that want to give him, they want to put it in a museum. But they had one of mine. And um, he said, tell him that I gave him a new one for your old accordion that he took out from the pawn shop. And I told him, he didn't want it. He won my accordion. That's an old one. You know, we, you know what kitty catting is? Kitty catting me means uh, go to restaurant to restaurant and go play for, for you know, back then it was $5 for three persons. Oh, like what the mariachi is Yeah, yeah, we call it talon, but it, it, it doesn't sound too good at talon. Yeah. But um, kitty catting, like a, you know, a cat that goes here and there, kitty catting. So that's the way that that accordion, and then in the 1970s, I was taloneando. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not a, ashamed of saying that. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink, I didn't do drugs, I, didn't, I just did my own, my, mm -hmm. yeah, hand, they, make money, and uh, nowadays I still do it, mm -hmm. because I've never heard the talon and the chamba, I've never heard the chamba. The chamba means uh, when uh, they're going to pay you, and now we have a chamba, it's an hour or two hours, mm -hmm. but talon means that we're going to just try to, hey, you, you, would you like to hear one of our songs, or one of, and what song sometimes, I, have. I play myself, or from by myself in a restaurant, now. And sometimes they make your faces. They do say, you sing too or do you just play? No, I sing too. Oh, okay. And um, sometimes they make your faces and they say, and we feel bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say they, they appreciate it. They say, yeah, play me a song. Play me a song. And how much? Sometimes they give you one dollar. Sometimes they give you two dollars. Sometimes five. Sometimes twenty. Uh, there was a guy that gave me one hundred dollars and I want to follow him. So th did you give me the right amount? And he, he was gone. And, uh, but I still, 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 I good. This is. You don't have a set price, like I know some of the mariachis, it's like $15 for that song. Yeah, sometimes I, when we go with two or three, mm -hmm. yes, it's uh, $15, $10, mm -hmm. but uh, now, we call it el bote. <laughs> you know what bote means? When people are gonna donate. I, I don't I don't take my bote. I take my sombrero, my hat, and I, and I play one or two or three songs and I pass them. When I was little, that's the way I started. Yeah, and I make a lot of money. We went to Arizona and and in the Inditas, you know, Indians, little Indian was crying. Because I was very young, little, and uh, I was like seven, six years old. And I said, my mom, how come the ladies, they cry? The one with trenzas, the ones with braids, how do you call them? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there was trencitas. Mm -hmm. they, they cry, mom, they don't like the way I play. My mom said, hey, no, daughter, they're appreciating you because you're too little. You think so, mom? They said, yes. So uh, we went to uh, Arizona, you know. And it, I didn't, you know, work in the fields, but yes, I did. So when I grew up, <laughs> I worked in the fields, and yeah, I didn't work in uh, my my oldest uh, family, you know, brothers and sisters. They were in the picking cotton. I was there little, just making trouble, and but I grew up, and I went to play in the fields too. The, we were migrants, and uh, we were at home. My sisters, my younger sister, and me. I don't like this. I don't like either. I like to play. But then I had my little radio here, and it's a long surco. How do you call it? Surco in English? A long road. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but you know, you know, going here and play, taking off the weeds and uh, kelitres. And uh, it was a long one, and. 
I said, Dad, how come everybody's recording, not me? I want to record. And, 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 but it, they came to, I drew, I drew, and I recorded. But I didn't want to, I don't like this. I don't like, I want to be a musician only. And I want to make money just from the accordion. Just play music. And that's what I, I make a living. I didn't work here and there, and I just work very little. Very little. I remember I worked at a, a Sanoria, a La Sanoria. You know, where, and they, I was the little one there, and young, and age, and the shorter one, and, and um, they, they called me the Chiquitia. The Chiquitia, come on, Chiquitia, do it. I mean, move it, move it, Chiquitia. And they, come on, Mama, I don't want to work there. They make money, fun out of me. They say, Mom, you have to work, the daughter. You was, you, I was 15. I worked very little. And then I worked at the Pecans, the uh, Seria. It's it's been the the smell of the of the oil of the king cans make me vomit. I went uh, and people said that, that I was pregnant or something. I went to the restroom and, and once I vomit because it's a lot of oil and I feel good, but I was feeling bad and I, I didn't. But we were young and they they fired us because we were saying lies that we were my sister and me that we were eighteen. 17 now, we were 14, 15, and that's good, thank you. And uh, they, but uh, that I worked at a, a laundry, you know, where they, they, how do you like that? That's a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, pelusas, how do you say the pelusas? <laughs> and just two, three, three days, and then we, we work, my sister and me work in the, Press the street where the crazy people are, and my mom and they kill an, uh, a lady. They kill a lady there, and we were in the not in the very very crazy, but they were like a little bit, <laughs> uh -huh. and and they told us if they if this this guy wants to give you something, don't get it. And they one of them said, I like like me, I like this, and the other side, my sister. And I like her. They were, they were, and then we were all dressed in white. But my mom, t she heard that somebody killed somebody at choke, and you know, crazy guy. He said, "Don't work in there anymore." So we we stopped working. But then I took over the accordion. That's what, this is my life. The accordion. I make my living with that accordion all the time. This is that is how I make. I make my living. Um, is there any last things you would like to share with the with the viewers for the for this recording for this video? Uh, well, say that I that I love my audience and I love my music and uh, I've been ignored and I'm a little upset. I, I don't feel good being a lady and. Uh, they, this, uh, you know, I pay my dues. I mean, how could they ignore me? That's their reason. And I ask myself, what's wrong? Is it me that don't like the way I play? Or is it because I'm a lady? Or because, what is it? Sometimes I cry, I cry, I cry. And I said, and, and they ask me, how come they don't call you about what's going on? So not because, you know, it's not because I'm getting, you know, not younger. It, when I was young, it's the same thing. And nowadays, we're getting older, it's going to be worse, I think. But there's a lot of old guys that are playing. And uh, I think it's because, no, I don't know what is it I, I'm asking, I give it, por más vueltas que le dé, you know, that just trying to get it together, I can't. Because I think it's a much as, I don't know, I don't want to say it again, but a machismo is a much as man was well. And ladies are ignored. I don't like that. I don't like, ladies can play. They can do things, good things. I mean, they can play the accordion. They can, they're small too, like guys. 
But not all the guys are like that. You know, I love men, you know, I love, but uh, I don't know what they're thinking. The industry is run or dominated by. by That's people. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And you know what? I'm still here. The thing, the last thing, uh, thing I'm going to say that I'm not going to give up. And, and to the ladies, young ladies, old ladies, whatever, they play, don't give up. Never give up. Never. Don't let the people put you down. And sometimes I give myself strength because now I'm mad. I'm very upset and not mad. I, w I was very, a very, very good lady. I trusted everybody. You know, but the world made me like this. And I believe in them. And uh, just, just be myself. And, uh, and never give up. And I'm a guerrilla. I'm still fighting. And I will. Well, we want to thank you so much for joining us for this interview today. Um, as I mentioned before, these interviews will be housed at the UTSA, um, in the UTSA Library's archives. Uh, and we'll also share with you the video once we um, prepare it. And um, if there's anything you want us to add or to mention, um, please let us know. Uh, and if at any time you um, <coughs> have questions about how the interview is being stored and stuff, just let us know. And we can okay, I will. But thank you so much for being with us. And it's an honor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for interviewing me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. For your time, for taking mm -hmm. the time.